Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. Yeah, apologies for the light. It's a bit darker than usual because my um, ring light has um, decided that it doesn't want to work anymore. So I'll have to order another one of those from um, from good old Mr. Bezos. Um, but yeah, anyway, so over to those Bitcoin charts. If you guys don't mind quickly smashing that like button and we will... Um, we will crack on. Um, so yeah, Bitcoin on the four hour. So yeah, you can see we got that move up. We broke this level here, broke this level. Um, we uh, and it's pretty much what I, what I expected to happen. I expect us to break through here, this level, and then trade out this range for a little bit whilst we um, get the momentum to get back up and test this uh, 12,000 level. So uh, this level's held us quite well so far. Um, broke through it, back tested it, and now we're looking to try and push off it again. So all pretty, pretty nice, uh, nice price action. Um, obviously stocks were looking good this morning and the dollar was coming off. So that um, was what we needed. But subsequently, if we go over to stocks, they have decided to take a little bit of a dump. Obviously we've got the... Um, the are we getting it soon aren't we getting it soon um stimulus um debacle going on so obviously stock markets didn't like that um but interestingly enough the dollar um wasn't too bothered um the dollar wasn't too bothered obviously this is the level that we needed to not get supported at, as you guys know because we didn't need to want to turn around and take this out level out, level out again um but yeah so we have nicely lost this whole level um break below the second um le lower level that we've got and then um well broke back above and is currently sat at that low so i mean this is pretty um it's pretty good um looking for the dollar bears even if we get a little bit of a bounce it'll just look like a head and shoulders and then yeah project the target down to here and things will be looking hunky dory um obviously stimulus um well it's a difficult one for the markets to price in because whilst we don't get it markets don't like it but the longer we don't get it then the more you can assume it's going to be when it does come um if um if you think that it's gonna not help trump getting elected then it means that um we'll get an even bigger a bigger stimulus package after the election if we have biden so um it's like it's not good for markets it is good for markets <laughs> if we don't have it or um straight away because then we could have more of it later so yeah it's an interesting one obviously the dollar is clearly telling us that whilst the stock markets don't particularly like um the lack of it now 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 um, the dollar is sort of pricing in the the, the prospects of it um, being in an even greater package um, down the line. Um, having a look at gold, um, yeah, gold, sorry, silver, it's just hanging around, hanging around this horizontal. Um, it's obviously in a tightening formation here, looking to looking to side where it wants to go. But yeah, the main thing here is stocks. I was quite surprised to see this, to be honest. Um, but is this just? Um, I I often I have, but not often, but I spoke about it quite a while quite a few times that when you get the low and um, you'll have to get like a liquidity hunt below that low before then ultimately coming back up um to people that buy that buy in buy in and have the stop just below here they get wicked out of their position which is basically what's happened here then the market then trades back up so if this does push up tomorrow um or overnight or the um the plunge protection team comes in then i think that will be um that second that secondary low and we will then start to make some progress to the upside i mean if i extend this up you can see we pretty much got to near that trend line too um so yeah interesting interesting day bitcoin obviously um following the um the direction of the dollar as opposed to stocks which is quite good it's quite what we want to see really because um things could start to look a bit rubbish for stock markets and they'll and they'll furiously devalue that dollar and that will be just be good for bitcoin We'd rather have bitcoin inversely following the dxy rather than um positively correlated with stock markets long run so We'll see what happens there. Uh, we'll have a look, a whiz through those stochastics, see how they are looking. Um, four hour, uh, yeah, four hour looking like it wants to come and test a bit of downside. So again, could we play out this region for a bit? Yes, we could. Also, as you guys know, I was talking about um, 11,000, 11,100 being tested as a nice back test and then um, a nice rally up. As you can see, we've got a lot of price action around this level now. We stayed up here quite a while in this 11 to 12K region. So this level here, 
could be a very nice catch level or even this level underneath or even as low as here um as a back test and then yeah we can continue upwards and i and obviously the the need in my mind for us to come and test 11 the 11k region is obviously diminishing the longer we hold up here and further up we push we can back test to a different level so um yeah bear that in mind uh 10 hour um 10 hour moving up quite nicely here lots of momentum there 12 hour did get caught by that um trend line that we we're looking at um pretty much so that is nice to see and a nice move up from here in the 12 hour the cheat codes this is going to get us to 12k i believe um which is what i've basically been saying um is that um we are going to come and test the top of the range now we're in the zone that's the most likely scenario test the top and then we can decide if we're going to come back down and, and just play around this range like we did for quite a while but yeah um obviously we have come up from a higher level a higher low so we have got a lot more um, potential to break into this next zone so yeah that is looking good um daily stochastics daily daily <laughs> daily stochastics have also turned back up as well at a very aggressive um trend line um obviously that's a trend line <laughs> made to be broken soon but this is stochastics they can stay wedged up there anyway um and just price action still keep going up so that's not a problem two day getting nice and toppy but still looking good three day looking very good um five day pointing nicely up and weekly pointing nicely up and bi-weekly like i said can just hold up there like it is doing and monthly clearly looking good but we won't we won't read too much into the monthly other than it is looking good so yeah i mean it is it's looking it is looking good obviously the trend is your friend the momentum is up and um, the dollar looks like it's broken its uptrend um yeah things things are looking rosy the only fly in the ointment is stock markets but i believe um this will um after it's had its little fit that it's having um will just proceed onwards and upwards and we will get a stimulus bill of some sort even if it's a delayed and larger one so um yeah that is it really guys um so remember that is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor so always do your own research and i will speak to you guys in the morning